Tangent here, how you doing? I'm here with my main man, who I can't identify because, um, for security reasons, the reasons being he works as a cleaner. Hi, Hello. Anywho, got to say a big thank you to these guys from Coney Island Sorcery for sending me a bottle of this. This is um, Trailer Park Boys Decent Hot Sauce. And they sent me this through because they saw my website and they said, would you like a bottle to review? And I was like, yeah, go on. So thank you to them. The uh, Trailer Park Boys, if you've not seen it, it's like on Netflix and it's been a TV series since 2001. It's Canadian, so it's already cool. Um, and this is a hot sauce, which goes with the, the Trailer Park Boys kind of fang. And I'm delighted to uh, be sampling this tonight. Not just on its own, not with my main man cleaner here, uh, but we're gonna be having this with some steak. Um, so anyway, Coney Island Sorcery, thank you very much for sending me this. It's a lovely sunny day here in England. Post lockdown, things are kind of just getting back to normal, whatever that is. Um, so we're gonna try this. I'm gonna read a bit of blurb about what this is about. Coney Island Sorcery crafted the perfect hot sauce for the discerning Trailer Park Boys fans. Decent hot sauce is a Louisiana style garlic forward hot sauce with a silky texture and the right amount of heat. Made with fresh, all natural ingredients and made by hot sauce fans for hot sauce fans. Pairs well with greasy burgers, chicken fingers, pepperoni, scrambly eggs, or any food you want to make. De hee 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 scent. And uh, there's some reviews on the back from the three guys Ricky, Bubbles, and Julian. Ricky says, it's actually really good. Bubbles says, it's scrum diddly. And Julian says, Bubbles, your mum is hot. Just saying. I think she probably is, actually. It's vegan friendly, it's gluten free, and it's Sasquatch free. And uh, I love the actual bit on the back with the barcode. It's got like a little roller coaster and a shithawk. Whatever that is. Oh, there it is. There's a shithawk just there. Or is it a pigeon? Let me read a bit of blurb about the sauce on the back. It's a cayenne based sauce. We've got cayenne, peppers, distilled vinegar, blah, 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 blah. Wow, those shithawks really are a wild today. Uh, garlic, vegetable oil, blah, 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 blah. Manufactured for Coney Island, Sorcery Limited, New York. Bam. Shaking it up, shaking it up. It's not a particularly thick sauce. Should be good for the spoon. Opening it up. Ooh. Garlic, I can smell garlic. Mmm, yeah. Oh, a little bit of twing from vinegar there. That'll be the Cayenne, kind of Louisiana style sauce going on there. We're gonna pour a bit of this on a spoon. Let's see how we get on with this. Woo, there we go. So yeah, it's a, quite a quite a runny sauce. It's not a thick sauce. There's no, there's no gubbins in there. Oh, should I? Hang on. Should I give you that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Grab that. Whoa. Don't take any yet. Just gonna do myself a bit now. There we go. It's got the consistency of what I would say cough mixture. And I love cough mixture, even when I don't have a cough. Chin chin. Yo. Mmm. Okay. So you've got that oiliness. Strong tomato. It's that, I'm getting cayenne and vinegar mm. going on there. But it's silky. When I say oily, yeah. it's silky. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Mm. But it's that, it is that Louisiana style. Mm. Kind of vinegar heavy. Yeah, vinegar heavy, certainly. And the can is, is twanging out. Tomato as well. On that, is there tomato in there? It feels like, it tastes like it to me. Is there not? No, it's no tomato. Mm. It's a cayenne base. It could be the cayenne you're tasting. Yes, yeah, very nice flavor cayenne. Yeah, there is not masses of heat there. I've got a little tingle around the lips going on. But I can imagine it's working well with a greasy burger, as it were. Could have a little bit more, a little bit more. Mm. Mm, that was good. It is that, it's like fermented. Mm. Fermented peppers you get. 
but it's that you know mm. garlic vinegar cayenne what we're going to do now is we're going to sort out our steak on the barbie pour over this on our steak have a bit of a nosh with that <laughs> Right, hello, we're back again. The steak is cooked. The onions, the mushroom, the chips. Can I can I show you what we've got here? Look at that. Snap. Snappity snap. I've got a salad which I'm about to serve up. I've, had it. I've got an insect crawling up my leg. A bit of slaw. Oh, I like a bit of slaw. Yeah. Yeah. So we poured quite a little, quite a bit on there. Nice bit of steak. Nice. It is that Louisiana style fermented pepper vinegar kind of thing going on. It works very well with this. It's a very nice steak actually. The onions, the mushroom. It's all very nice. Mm. How's your steak? This is good. So there we go, we've got the Coney Island Sorcery Trailer Park Boys Descent Hot Sauce. Uh, thank you very much for sending me this. We've uh, very much enjoyed this and we're gonna enjoy the rest of our steak and chips right now. Uh, there we go, beautiful. Thanks a lot, take care, bye-bye. I, I can't even see where the, the camera is. It's off. No, it's not, it's not off, it's never off, it's never off. There we go. We've got the uh, Trailer Park Boy. We've got the Trailer Park Boys Descent Hot Sauce from Coley Island. Well, uh, from. Let's try that again. We've got the Trailer Park Boys Descent Hot Sauce. Yes, we do. So there we go. We've got the Coney Island. So there we go, we've got the Coney Island Sorcery Descent Hot Sauce uh, for the uh, f***ing hell. <laughs>